May is Trauma Awareness Month, and today we're focusing on the dangers that come with distracted driving and why it's important that all drivers focus on the road. Dr. David Derrigan joins us today. Doctor, thank you for being here, but let's go ahead and begin with discussing why there is a designated Trauma Awareness Month. Sure. Trauma is a big, big factor in medicine. We see, you know, a large amount of fatalities and injuries from trauma. From the ages of 1 to 46, it's the number one leading cause of death in that age range. Mm -hmm. So back in 1988, uh, President Reagan said, you know, we need to have a month that's really focused on trauma to get the public awareness out there and to try to focus and hone in on things that we can prevent. We read a lot of stories on the news about accidents that happen right here on the High Plains. And I know with the victims of those wrecks, you have to see them uh, in the trauma center. So let's talk about the importance of putting the focus on keeping our focus on the road. Yeah, distracted driving is a very, very big issue. Um, it's very important. It causes injuries not only to ourselves, but to the people in the car and the people around us. Um, driving a vehicle is a big deal and it's a big responsibility and when you put yourself in a situation to where you're not completely focused on the road and you have something distracting you your chances of having an accident are much much higher and with the the advent of cell phones and not just what we do, you know talking on the phone now but texting music apps it's skyrocketed the amounts of accidents we're seeing on the roadways and it's it's hurting ourselves and other people yeah we've we've all got the maps on our on our mm -hmm. phone where we're pulling it up and we're trying to pay attention to that it's just it's just not worth it so how do you successfully avoid a crash well to avoid a crash um, you know, a crash is an accident, so mm -hmm. it's not something you're planning on doing. Right. So you need to have the awareness around you. The best way to be aware is to decrease the distractions. So whatever you can do to keep your mind on the road, you want to, you know, keep your mind on the road, your hands on the wheel, and keep your mindset at arriving alive. So what does it take to arrive alive? That means you have to be prepared. Yeah. So and when you drive, you need to be prepared. You need to minimize the distractions, put up the phone, plan your route before you go, the text can wait, the calls can wait. Nothing is worth taking your life, the person's with you life, or someone driving's life uh, yeah. for a text message or call or to, to change a song. It's just too important. I, I think it's, this is a good refresher for all of us because I think that w we know this information, and yet sometimes we get behind the wheel and we think, oh, this won't be that big of a deal. I'll just uh, I'll reach over, I'll grab the phone, I'll see who just sent me a text as opposed to just kind of waiting it out. I, I'm curious, doctor, about... In terms of uh, those fatalities, and we've mentioned some numbers, what age is accounted for the most fatalities? So under the age of 30 is the most fatalities. And really, if you bring it under 20, the teenagers are by far the highest risk. So the teenagers are the best with the cell phones. They're always on their cell phones. And we're putting them now on behind a major vehicle driving. Mm -hmm. But really, that 16 to 30 range is the highest range for an accident. And not just any accident, but a fatal accident. So this is something that we're talking to you about. And maybe it's a good refresher just to sit down with the family tonight and say, hey, I know we're kind of getting laxed on what we're doing, but kind of let's, let's bring it home. Um, just we need you to be alive. I'll be doing that same thing with my family tonight because I have a teenage daughter that drives. And yeah. she had a car accident Sunday. And she admits she was checking the map and drove in the back of somebody. Yep. So it is time for those serious conversations and serious choices. You know, we want to we yeah. be nice to our kids, but at the same time, we need to make sure that, that they're okay. And good reminders for, for us as adults as well. Doctor, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it as we put the focus on Trauma Awareness Month. Up next, Megan is in the kitchen with our good friend.